What's up everybody? It's me, Crosspatch. Welcome back to the Long Dark. Uh, I'm hanging out here at uh, Trapper's Homestead in Mystery Lake. And we had a little bit of excitement last episode. Uh, came through the cave there from Milton. Uh, came around the corner and what do we see in our front yard? But uh, a great big old moose. So I did uh, what I usually do when I find an unexpected moose in my yard and I shot it several times. And then uh, this uh, big old bear came along too, and I shot him, but guess what? He's back. So um, we need to harvest this moose up, but we got to get rid of this guy first, I think. So we're going to try to take another shot at him if we can before we get started. So we've got like 87 pounds of moose meat or something like that over there that we've got to get uh, from there over to here. And uh, this guy's going to be a problem. There's a bunch of wolves running around. Uh, I keep hearing them howling. Uh, there's a couple over the hill there I keep seeing running around. So let's take a shot at this guy. Maybe we'll get him down. I'd really like to get his hide. Not so much uh, the meat from him. But we'll see what we can do. Maybe he'll come a little closer here. Come on, Mr. Bear. Now he's not happy with me. I've already shot him once. So he's probably not too happy to see me. But... You know, that's tough luck in the long dark. Pretty cold out here. Yeah, he's coming for me here, I think. He, I think he usually turns around before this. What's up, buddy? Oh, that's better. That's a good shot. Thank you for that. And we hit him, and here he comes. Let's get inside and not get attacked by a bear. Okay, so we hit him twice. And obviously he's uh, still pretty spry there. So we're going to hang out in here for a little bit. And uh, what can we do while we're waiting? I put So here's the plan to get that moose meat, right? Um, I stashed most of my stuff in this closet. So I'm down to like... Uh, just under 42 pounds. So I'm gonna, I got like a bold plan here. What the, maybe, or maybe, uh, maybe not so bold. It's more, it actually involves a lot of running away. Um, I'm gonna read my book for an hour here that I stash in here. So, um, yeah, we're gonna head out there. We're gonna harvest as much as we can and, uh, just keep running it back here. I don't think I can quarter them up because I've already uh, took the hide off of them um, and some of the gut. But I don't know. Maybe I can. We'll find out. And he's probably frozen anyway. Let's see what we can do here without getting uh, mauled by bear or wolf. Hopefully our loading screens are cooperative today. Yeah, it's uh, well, it's not bad out here. We're warm. It doesn't look so good, but we are warm. And who knows if that bear is going to uh, kick the bucket with two bullets in him. Hopefully. Um, but let's not... Let's not uh, taunt Mother Nature in the long dark. Yeah, it looks, it looks, it's a little bit cold. Let's see here. I can get, I want to use my knife. It's going to take me 40 minutes to get four pounds of meat. That cannot be right. Or I can quarter them. Can I quarter them? Let's, cannot quarter them. And more than 50% frozen. How long did it get 20 pounds of meat? Three hours. One hour with the hatchet. Let's do that. Getting a little chilly. Now we run. Run, run, run. Okay. And drop all that right there 
No sign of bear or wolf. Go do it again. Oh, I dropped my water out here. Wait, did I? I meant to. No, I did not drop my water. Okay, now we'll drop that. Drop all that. Leave that there. We're going to be back. All right, well, let's go. More moose. So, uh, one of my thoughts was to try lighting a fire over here. I, it's a little windy. I don't know if I could anyway. But, um, you know, then I kind of thought, well, I want a fire over there. So I don't want to use all the, the uh, wood I have, all the fuel, uh, to make a fire over here by the moose. I hear those wolves. And run, run, run. Okay. Drop all that. All right. Getting late in the day, we could take one more run here, I think. Maybe we'll be a little more bold on this one. I can carry like 40 pounds. 40 plus pounds of meat. Do we uh, try to go for that? It's going to take a lot longer than the 20, 20 pounds. Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll split the difference and try 30. There's 48 left. How much to get the rest of this? Oh lord, that's like three out, three hours plus. Let's do half of it. Yeah, do that. Eat anything. You could. Well, you got a big old moose to eat here. I'm gonna get you a snack. Beef jerky. So we don't lose our well-fed bonus. Going well so far. We got a little bit left there. I think I gotta get a. Yeah, I gotta go inside and get a snack for a will. I need a horse. I know. Well, how about a moose? Yeah, I gotta get a snack for a will here because if I don't, uh, we're gonna lose that low, uh, well fed bonus, well fed buff. Uh, Take this, and this. Like, we're about to have a ton of moose meat. So, and we're going to find more food. We have a lot of exploring here to do in Mystery Lake. Oh, and I, you know what? I left my can opener in the closet. So we'll smash in that can open like a Neanderthal. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, so one more run and we should have it. I don't know what I'm going to do with the gut. There's a lot of gut there. Like, I don't really need it. I've got the two I need to make the, the moose hide satchel. Um, you know, you can get gut anywhere. I mean, not anywhere. It has to be an animal. But, um, yeah, I may not uh, taunt fate messing with the gut. Like, the big thing was to get the hide. And the next biggest thing is getting this meat. And the gut, I'm not super worried about. So let's go. We're almost done, Will. What do we got? 22 pounds. Oh, boy. Let's do it. No yawning. Come on, wake up. The sun's setting. The sun is setting. Things are getting get worse. Soon. Any bad guys over there? Nope. Let's run. Yeah, we're cold now. Let's 
drop this. All right, so we need some water. It's kind of uh, okay out here. I think I may start a couple of fires here and so start cooking and some moose meat. Up again. I think that is the plan. Let's do that. Where do I want to do that? What's the best place? Does it matter? I feel like it doesn't matter up on this hill, really. I guess right here it's Never at least felt so cold in my life. Like right here, it's at least for now it's um sheltered from the from the wind. Oh, let's see. Let's use accelerant. Let's get this going. There we go. Try not to set wool on fire here. I have done that before. Alright, so let's get some moose meat going. Moldy moose meat. And I think I'm going to start a second fire here. Uh, just to do things a little quicker. I got some wood uh, from the environment and I smashed a few things up from inside the cabin. Um, you know, I don't, don't always like smashing stuff up inside, but there's only so much around. So much wood around uh, out in the uh, woods there. I didn't want to venture too far from the uh, cabin. That did it. That did it. You're a genius, Will. Put that torch out right on your leg. Puts the torch out right on his thigh. That's a manly man. No bear. He could be dead. Let's go. Cook some more meat. I'm not going to cook it all up. I'm just going to do some of it here. And uh, we'll come back. I'll come back and cook the rest of it. Like uh, off camera sometime. So the moose meat is obviously good as a resource uh, to eat. There's a lot of calories here. But it'll get my cooking up too. Like my cooking uh, skill. Cooking all this stuff up. Like if I really wanted to be uh, working on my cooking skill, I could have... Um, I could have cut it up into tiny, tiny little pieces. But... Um, I think I need to lay down. That would have been dangerous, and it would have taken a long time. You're not going to lay down, Will. You're cooking moose meat. Oh, there we go. I mean, now a cooking novice. See how things are going. This one's ready. Take it. Cook another one. I need one more here. Oh, I need two more. I should have arranged these uh, fires a little better, maybe. Oh, no. Don't set Will on fire. Alright, 122, 119. Let's see what these are. One minute, okay. One minute past time. Fill up on moose meat. Yeah, a lot of meat on a moose. Who knew? Sick. 
So, uh, when our cooking party is over here, and, and I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to cook up all this meat. I'm not going to, if you're sitting here worrying, like, this guy is going to make me watch him cook uh, an entire moose. Uh, no, I'm not going to do that. Uh, but I am going to try to get um, a little reserve here uh, while I can. Alright, so we'll take that, take that. How's this going? Grab all this. And get four more. How's my fires doing? My fires are going out. Yikes, my fires are going out. We don't want that. Can't have the fires going out while the moose is not yet cooked. Alright, so I got three hours on that one. Two hours. Alright, so we'll cook till the fires go out. Get a few more rounds of moose meat going here. Oh, don't need the rifle, Will. Stand down! I know it's been a stressful uh, couple of days here with uh, moose and bear and uh, running around in the field. But we are okay. We're okay for now. I'm too tired to think. So. No, you, you're okay. You don't worry about thinking, Will. I'll do the thinking. You just do what I tell you. We'll do one more round, I think. Let's see how much how much time we got on the fire. Yeah, so let's do one more. Then we'll go to bed. Then we will, uh, tomorrow morning, we'll fill up on moose meat, get our supplies out of the closet, and head over to the lake. No bear. Yeah, Will's getting tired. Will's, Will's beyond tired. 115. 116. 116. Getting thirsty too, Will. Now let's get this moose meat off of here first. Getting kind of thirsty. That. I know. Hold on. Hold on, Will. Yeah, we can't do another round. So, uh... So that was a successful, uh, task we accomplished. I'll drop the rest of this here. No bear. We got a full belly. Let's go to bed. Hopefully we find the bed in the dark because my lantern's in the closet. Yeah, we can find it. We're good. Okay. I'll see you in the morning. Hopefully no blizzard. Okay, so let's see. Midday. Let's have a drink. The weather sounds like it's uh, getting a little bit ugly out there. Let's see what we want to take to uh, 
We definitely want our lantern. We want our cooking or uh, sleeping bag. Let's take one cooking pot. Leave the flashlight. We want the crowbar. We'll take our book in case we want to read. Take our can opener. Uh, lamp oil, yes. Uh, we'll take the Go Energy. We'll take the revolver ammo in case we find a revolver. Uh, I think we can leave the gunpowder here. We can leave the flare here. Don't need the can. Um, take a little, a few matches. Take my antibiotics. Take my stims. Gun cleaning kit. Some snacks. Some. I'll take one thing of tea in case I want to cook it up. All right. So we're still pretty underweight here. Anything else I need to take? Maybe I'll grab some water from outside. Get some cloth. We're going to find some stuff going around the lake, so I don't want to be too heavy here going on my little trip. Uh, yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good. So is that bear dead? Now there's a way I can find out. I don't know if it's cheating or not. Um, but I'm not going to do it. Let's just let it be a surprise. It's more fun that way. Everyone likes to be surprised by an angry bear, right? I mean, that's just fun. Uh, let's eat some meat. And I think we ate it all, but let's make sure, yes. We don't want to be carrying around any meat. And let's take some water. We'll leave a little bit here. And let's roll. Let's go to the lake. I don't have a, a flare. I, obviously, I have this rifle, so that's a <laughs> that's something. But um, yeah, I don't have a flare. Like if I am set upon by a wolf, um, and I can't get this uh, rifle up in time, uh, I do have a, um, a torch I can light. But obviously, it takes longer to light a torch than it does to get the rifle up. So. I think avoidance is our best policy at this point, at which it usually is. I kind of said a couple episodes ago I like to um, I like to only shoot on my own terms. I don't like to shoot defensively, and maybe my when my skills get better, I'll feel differently about that. But um. Yeah, I, I prefer to whip out a flare and light it if a wolf comes yeah. after me. Oh, now we got a sprain. I hate that. That I mean, I understand the mechanic, then it's fine. But it always makes me jump. And I don't like that. Let's see. Do I see any lumps that look like a deceased bear? I do not. Nor do I see a living bear. So... Now we're going to have to investigate that at some point because, um, you know what, Will? Let's get you bandaged up here. I'm not going to give you the painkillers um, for a couple of reasons. One, the pain will heal itself eventually. And two, uh, I don't want you to get too comfortable, Will. I want you to feel like you're in it here. see a bunny. Frolicking bunny. I do not see a bear. It's a little bit cold. Not too bad. I was able to repair the uh, Mackinac jacket a little bit better uh, with some cloth that I found. So, uh, yeah, we're gradually going to get uh, better clothes and everything, and we'll be uh, quite a bit better off walking around on these cold days.
Let's see. Let's see the situation down here. Uh, particularly the uh, four-legged jerk situation. Because sometimes there's one down here. But I do not see him. But we're going to check out this little... Uh, check out this little uh, shack that has been... Oh, and there is one. Where is he? So this is what we gotta do. And he's running for his life. Which means we are also gonna run for our lives, Will. Because he will only be deterred for so long. Is there another one over there? There is. Alright, let's go in here and hope there's a flare. Oh. And it's too windy to light a torch. Uh, let's go this way. Yeah, see, that's like the exact situation. Like, I basically wasted a bullet there. Because um, I don't think I hit the wolf. And even if I did, there's nothing I can do with him. There's one over there. Uh, even if I did, like, I mean, I'm not going to stop to to take his hide right now. Um, so, I'm kind of surprised I don't have more flares right now. Um, usually you're, like, tripping over them in uh, Stalker. Alright, so I see a wolf over there, so I am going to hope... There is not one on these train tracks. All right, let's go. Let's go, Will. So the, uh, the, um, the, uh, what's it called? The camp office up here was, um, I think the first place that I hit when I started the game. Uh, episode one. And I was cold and I was, uh, not feeling like I was in good shape to go around the lake and explore. But now I am. And that's what we're gonna do. First, we're gonna go in the the camp office here and warm up. And then we're gonna go over there and go around the lake. And we'll see how far we make it this episode. This might be a two episode uh, lake uh, exploration. And I don't know how well I uh, checked this place out when I was here either. I was, it was the first episode. It was not only the first episode of this series, uh, but it was the first long dark episode I ever recorded for YouTube. So I talk about it like it was like years ago. It was, you know, six episodes ago, something like that. But I know I missed... Uh, an important thing here. Look at this. Cooking I think pot. I can use this. You can use that, Will. I'll make sure of it. But um, I think I did okay otherwise exploring this place. So, yeah, no need to linger here too much, I don't think. Just warm up a little. What time is it? A little drink. All right, let's get back out there. So there's going to be wolves on the lake here. Where they are, um, we will see. 
Uh, where they are may determine uh, the path we take going around the lake. And I'm, I don't think I'm going to collect cattails right now. Why am I? Oh man, this wind. I'm like, why am I moving so slow? Am I still crouched? It's just the wind. It's the wind holding me back. Clouds are rolling by. Yeah, I'm not crouched. All right. I see no wolves yet, but they are sneaky. So we're gonna go uh, over there also, up that hill uh, at some point and look for a uh, prepper cache up there. Oh man, I am running against the wind here like Forrest Gump. And there are some wolves. See them? Yeah, so we're gonna go this way. We're gonna go around them. Now, I could take the path back here. Uh, when, and maybe we might. Let's see what it looks like when we get over this hill here. Where these wolves are headed. I really don't want to tangle with them. Because that's gonna mean uh, wasting another bullet and or getting into a physical fight with them. I don't want to do either of those things. Yeah, they're over there. So we're gonna go over here. We're gonna go this way. Yeah, four of them. There's a swarm of wolves. So we're gonna we're gonna have to put off hitting that fishing shack. But the good news is, if they're over there, they're not over here. So we should have a easier time getting around to these cabins. Now there is a bear over here as well, so we got another bear to contend with. I'm not gonna worry about feathers right now. Those are all things like feathers, um, like uh, the curing the uh, pry bar. Do I need a pry bar? In handy. Oh, see if it's better than the one I have. Um, the uh, saplings. Uh, we're gonna use those to make a bow and arrow at some point. Bows, bow and arrows. I'll leave that. Um, and. I'm going to, I don't know when I'm going to do that, but I'm going to do it before uh, my ammo runs out for my rifle. So I want to get my bow, uh, I want to get my bow shooting up, like, before it becomes, like, my only option. But that's down the road. That's, like, uh, not in the near future. But it is in the future. Two of these cabins burned down. And people just whip their flares on the floor when they go inside. So we're gonna go, uh, what way? Up this, uh, what would you call this? A cliff, escarpment, whatever. Uh, we're gonna go up that at some point too. There's a rope. Um, I might not go, I think I have to go up the rope, I don't know. Um, and there's a possibility of a cache up there as well. Alright. If we can find some snacks in here, maybe some better clothes. Clothes I find that I don't need, I can use as cloth. I really don't have much cloth either, surprisingly. Uh, books for starting fires. No harm in picking stick up, uh, stuff up, like uh, like books, because I can always just drop them. All right, that looks like about it in here. Any 
thing in the bucket. Here's some cloth. Take that cloth, six minutes out of my life. There's a talking fish, maybe? I don't know. All right, moving on. I think we'll go around, uh, we could probably go any way we want with the wolves all the way over there, but we'll probably go around the backside here to these other cabins. Oh boy, okay, perfect. Wolf avoidance. All right, so there's a wolf there too. Terrific. So maybe we will not go around the backside. Let me read my book for an hour and hope that he uh, he thinks about other things he might want to do in his life. Let's read that. Yeah, I want to make it back to I want to make it to those other cabins before it's dark. Uh, and that's probably where we end the episode. Um, but uh, I don't want to end it uh, running away in a cowardly fashion from a wolf. So let's see what we can do. I also don't want to end it being uh, eaten by a wolf. So I guess uh, the cowardly fashion approach is preferable. Oh boy. Is this a bad idea? Moving in this uh, fog. If I go out on the lake here further, I can see better at least. Not be surprised. Uh huh. Let's hit this thing. this here uh, fishing shack. I know, Will. Hang in there, buddy. Pinnacle peaches. Oh, good. All right. Well, I, was, I uh, used up my last sewing kit, so that's good. And rifle ammo. Perfect. Let's see a revolver cartridge down there. Delete this. Uh, I do not need this rock. I want to take this. How heavy am I? Now let's not take that. Okay, so let's get um, like behind this uh, rock is where that wolf was. Let's see if we can get over there without getting murdered. I don't want to use a bullet. I wish I could find some flares here. I hear wolves. They sound like they're behind me. Mm. Alright. Let's boogie. Let's go, Will. That's a lot. So we got I don't want to carry all these books around. I picked up a couple um in the other cabin. Nothing in the backpack. Stacy's grape soda, pinnacle peaches. What else? Come on. Could end up being useful. Eh, paper for the cloth. And that's probably about it. Check the garbage can. Alright, so we've made it safely uh, to the other side of the lake here. Uh, it's getting to be a little bit a little bit dark and uh, I think we're gonna call the episode here 
uh, when we get back to it, we're going to finish exploring the lake here, uh, continue with our policy of wolf avoidance, um, and get back to, all right, so then we're going to get back to the, uh, to the camp office, and we're going to go up on that cliff. Yeah, we got a lot to do. So that's all next episode. We're going to end this one here. And uh, thanks a lot for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you are a fan of uh, Running Away From Wolves, I hope you liked the episode. And uh, if you did, uh, why not uh, subscribe to the channel? Hit that like button. Uh, click on that uh, Grumpy, uh, Grumpy Crosspatch uh, logo that's going to be popping up down at the bottom of the screen. And uh, whatever you decide to do, I hope you have a great day. See you later in the long dark.